Look at all of these ladders. Say it with me now. Ladders. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Kuchel! <laughs> Into the Radius was one of the very first VR games that I ever played. I don't usually make multiple videos on one game, but there's something really special about Into the Radius. Plus, the developers add new content to this game constantly. Which brings me to the topic of this video. There's a 2.3 update out for Into the Radius, and it just so happens that it has been two whole years since Into the Radius first released. So, this is gonna be an anniversary video and I hope that you guys really liked it. Enjoy. <laughs> Before I jump into talking about some of the improvements and new features available in the 2.3 update, I just want to give the developers for Into the Radius a massive pat on the back. When I first bought this game, I didn't think too much of it. Obviously, Into the Radius has been a great game from the very start. Why are we not funding this? However, I've played my fair share of Steam games that promised amazing future content upon release and then completely checked out on me. But it is very apparent how extremely dedicated the developers of Into the Radius are when it comes to continuously improving their game. The developers have made it a habit to blow my expectations out of the water every time. There hasn't been a single update that didn't knock my socks off. Congratulations on a 92% all-time user score on Steam. Your hard work certainly isn't going unnoticed. And hey, happy two-year anniversary, explorers. Come on, motherfuckers. I'm ready for everything you got. Ugh. Oh yeah. I want this to be the f***ing Peyton Manning of grenade tosses. Good. Catch pussies. Oh dude, that's a lob. Ah! Yeah! So I'm talking about. Let's give them something to talk about. Tell your sister to quit calling me. We want to make sure no stone is left unfucked. What you say? Okay. We're running at peak performance right now. Maximum overdrive master commander. I am the danger. This looks diabolical. Now let's get into this 2.3 update, boys. I'm gonna kick things off with my favorite aspect of the update, the visuals. We got a pretty amazing improvement to our graphic settings. This is, uh, it's pretty nice, okay? It's pretty, uh, this is pretty f nice oh oh yeah oh i could i could get used to this now we can choose between a few different upscaling methods taau dlss and amd fsr there has also been a new setting added which allows you to scale sharpness in my opinion out of the three options for upscaling you will get a sharper image using taau and you will get better fps using fsr i don't have an rtx graphics card so the dlss option wasn't available for me to try sadly but based on the small amount of research I did regarding DLSS, it uses AI deep learning to provide superior graphics and performance when compared to TAAU and FSR. But don't quote me on that, because like I said, I didn't actually get to see DLSS implemented firsthand for Into the Radius, so I have like no clue how well it performs in this game. <gasps> oh sh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> I literally just spawned into the save file again, and- <laughs> That's what happens? Tough titty. Dude, gosh, that new that new ticking noise for the uh, artifact finders? That's awful. Okay, I'm picking up what you put down. I feel like I'm in Stranger Things right now. Hello! You look like you got pretty f up. <laughs> no! No! Oh boy! Maybe we have to go Rambo style. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, brother! Ow. Hey, guess what? There's a fucking guitar available in this game now, dude. Finally, you can strum away till your heart's content. You might attract some entities and get absolutely murdered before you can finish playing that song, but trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> you can purchase this guitar under a new tab located in the store that is called Recreational Goods. Speaking of music, there has also been new atmospheric sounds added to locations in the radius, and the developers have officially finished adding in new sounds for all weapons in the game. Not only that, there is a cool little postcard as well as a tasty looking piece of cake in celebration of two years since Into the Radius was first released. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, boy. Excuse me, okay, sir, okay. You don't even know what's about to go down right now, huh? You are about to get fucked up, my friend. <laughs> 
BAM! Bitch. Yeah! That is like taking candy from a fucking baby. I wanna go! I wanna leave! I wanna leave this place and find a fucking slider so that I can slide my foot right into his ass. <laughs> I'm finding a goddamn slider. Just a matter of when. I'm not really sure where the fuck I am right now. <sighs> Just as beautiful as the first time that I saw it. Some other improvements in this update include a new and much more realistic hand placement animation when you are opening cabinets, drawers, and well, pretty much anything. Very noise. Look at that. That soft little grab. See that? Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm so glad that they changed that grabbing animation for the drawers and everything, because that looks really good. If I'm being honest, unless you place your hand in just the right spot, when you go to open a drawer, the new animation becomes a little glitchy for a second. But it is still a huge improvement compared to how the previous grabbing animation looked. Our levels of immersion are increasing slowly but surely. This next improvement is another favorite of mine, and it was definitely much needed. We got some new visuals for the design of the side pouch and the backpack. Oh, really? Gosh, I really liked what they did with this new uh, backpack thing. That's nice. There's no green tint over all of my stuff. I can actually kind of see. Very f***ing snazzy, boys. Very snazzy. I don't know about you guys, but before this update, that green hue that blanketed over everything I put into my side pouch and backpack made it take a little too long to find items because everything just looked blended together. But in this update, the backpack and side pouch now provide you with a clear view into the space that occupies your items. Personally, I feel like this makes things go a lot quicker because now you're able to spot an item in your backpack and side pouch based not only on its shape but also its color holy shit. no no oh my god i'm actually dead damn that was the craziest death i've ever had in this game dude what the shit was that oh shit. dude that is 100% a hundred percent a slide oh fuck. dude yes Oh, my first slider. Oh, you little bitch. That was my slider V card. You were a very special experience, all right? I've never killed one of those before. I've never even fucking seen one. So that was pretty neat. Bro, we found the slider in its natural habitat. These animals wander around uh, looking to get fucked by nearby explorers. As per usual, I'm gonna give this into the radius update a 69 out of 420. The developers did an amazing job on this update. Frankly, I'm not surprised. Although, I would definitely like to see and instantly be blinded by the beautiful glowing trucks of retinal destruction that popped up in the beta release of the 2.2 update. That shit was absolutely hilarious. But hey, what we got in this update was more than enough. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you for watching this video and supporting the channel. I still can't believe we finally hit 1k subscribers, dude. On a side note, I'm going to be gone next week on a family vacation, and since I won't be able to take my entire setup with me, the video for next week will be a little different than my usual videos. Hopefully, you guys will still like it though. Anywho, bye!